Crunchies, welcome to the channel if you're new. I'm Alicia and I am so excited you're here. We are tackling a hot topic today, plastic waste. Everyone is loving to rag on people who waste plastic, especially on social media. And I do get it, it is irritating how much plastic we waste, especially with food products. But what bugs me is people are so quick to attack others, yet they provide no solutions. Stop using plastic. Okay, well then what do I do? Glass jars aren't the answer to everything. So I decided to figure it out. What do I do instead of plastic? And I am sharing some of the alternatives that I found with you today. This video is not sponsored. No one paid me or even sent me these for free. I bought them all myself and I will say it is not cheap to go plastic free. So check your privilege card before hating on someone, especially someone you don't know on the internet. I do get that you are trying to make the world a better place, that's great, but I also believe that most people are doing the best they can. Moving on, I am not partial to any of these brands here. I honestly went by reviews when researching, but I am going to tell you what I actually think as we go through this, and I have included a PDF with links to all of these products if you do wanna try any of them out for yourselves. I will say it was a bit irritating that almost all of these came wrapped in like a yard of plastic. Oh, the irony. Okay, first up, I wanted to tackle plastic bags. Ziploc baggies, so convenient, but obviously not doing anything good for the planet. I have a few options here. These silicone food bags, which I shared in a previous video, are probably my favorite because you can throw them in the dishwasher so they're easy to use. The truth is a lot of plastic alternatives are so much work. In this day and age, we all want convenience. So it is important that I find a balance of both if I actually want it to be sustainable and not just try it for a week and then quit. These I would use for like sandwiches or snacks. I also have these larger food storage stasher bags, which are also silicone and great for storage, but it's cool because you can also sous vide style cook them, meaning they can go straight into boiling water. It can withstand high temperatures as well as the microwave, dishwasher, etc., which makes them very convenient. The downside of course is the cost. This one bag was almost $20 and the small one is over $10. Something's gotta give. They are supposed to last a long time, but I haven't tried any of these products long term yet, so I can't say how they hold up. Some people say that the crevices are hard to clean, so if you do try them out, be diligent and make sure that no gunk is left or else you'll end up with no plasticless bags and lost money. Next is this reusable wrap. It has a protective aluminum layer. It's made of natural cellulose fiber and is phthalate, BPA, and PVC free. You can wrap up sandwiches, snacks, or produce, and it's easy to clean because it's water resistant, so you can really wipe it down or rinse it out and let it dry. I guess this is more of a foil or plastic wrap substitute. I will say it is irritating that it came wrapped in plastic. And that is another thing I just wanna whine about. Why are toys still packaged with so much plastic? People love to hate on food packaged for convenience and plastic, but are still buying kids toys with plastic packaging. Check yourself. This item does seem to clean more easily and will hopefully hold up. It was around $10, which is more affordable than some alternatives, but remember, if you want multiple, it will add up. Another plastic wrap alternatives are these beeswax wraps. I shared these in a previous video. I have been trying to use them for the last few months. You can use them to wrap up sandwiches, fruit, or cover bowls. It is made of beeswax, so it is a bit waxy feeling, obviously. It's supposedly sustainably harvested beeswax, but who can know? These are also very expensive. A pack of three can be around 15 to 20 dollars and to be honest i like the idea of these more than i actually like them maybe i am just not patient enough but they just don't hold that well or close that easily they do have many options online so you can get different patterns this is probably the most prevalent plastic wrap substitute i found but i don't think it's the easiest I also got some silicone stretch lids to reseal food in bowls or jars. These are more affordable. I got a six pack for $11 and I think that they're more functional too. Instead of plastic wrap, they're easy to put on leftovers or even half of a large melon or fruit. The different sizes are helpful and like most of these other products, they are BPA and phthalate free, non-toxic, etc. They can also go in the freezer or microwave and I think this is probably the most practical item that I can easily integrate into my lifestyle right now without feeling I'm making a huge compromise. As I was brainstorming this video, I was thinking, where do I use plastic now that I could perhaps find an alternative? And one thing that came up was trash bags. To be honest, it was not easy to find an alternative. Well, scratch that, eco-friendly options exist, but they aren't very handy. Most of the bags don't have drawstrings that I'm used to. Some include twist ties, but come on, that is not convenient. And some don't have any tie at all. 
Also, biodegradable bags are great in theory, unless they start to break down while your trash is still in them, which many of the reviews for different brands noted to happen. This brand had better reviews, so far so good, no ties unfortunately, and I will say that so many reviews said this too for all these kinds of bags, but the 13 gallon bags are definitely not 13 gallon. They don't fit the trash can like my regular plastic ones, so that is an irritating adjustment. Also, during my trash bag hunt, I found a lot of companies trying to sell you on their product, but not necessarily actually trying to protect the earth. Remember, the company's goal is to sell. So while they may want to help the earth, they also maybe just want to sell it to you because they know that you want to buy something that's helping the earth. A lot of plastic alternatives I found while researching also might be better for the environment relative to plastic, but a lot of the products cause harm to the environment in their development. For instance, some are made of plants or sugarcane, and the farming uses up a lot of resources. Also, many of these are recyclable, but not biodegradable. So if they get out into the ocean and a turtle eats it, the turtle is not saved. Some companies advertise that they are biodegradable, but this is only true in certain very controlled environments. Maybe it's biodegradable in this room where they tested it, where they can control the heat and everything around it, but if it's left on the street, it is not going to degrade naturally. My point is, not to not get these items, but just to be aware, just because it says made from plants doesn't mean it's helping the environment. I think a better system is trying to get away from single use products as much as possible. So things like trash bags, most of us aren't going to completely do away with tomorrow, but if we can use less items that are ultimately used once and ultimately thrown like Ziplocs, water bottles, grocery store bags, silverware, etc., then we can do more good than by stressing out about buying trash bags made from plants. So items like eco friendly silverware. Great, but still has to be thrown. Even if it can biodegrade naturally, it's better to use regular silverware. Same with straws, paper, cornstarch, wheat straws. Great, but they're single use. Stainless steel that can be washed and reused are really more environmentally friendly and less wasteful. Bamboo straws are another tricky one because bamboo has a high carbon footprint. The bamboo is from China, not the US, and most of those straws are only about 15% bamboo. The rest is cornstarch and resin, which is a chemically formed plastic. Water bottles, we all know by now to get away from single use bottles. Find a reusable one that you love and can refill again and again. I have a couple of more items. So I touched on grocery bags and obviously we want to be using more of our own reusable items when we can, but this also includes produce bags. Those produce bags aren't doing the earth any favors and they're easy to replace. I bought these on Amazon, $12 for nine of them in different sizes and they're netted, durable, BPA free, and most importantly, important reusable. You can use them for anything, not just groceries, but they are great multi-purpose bags that are better for the environment. You can use these or get other bags like these cotton sachet bags for bulk bin items too. Now, if a store carries bulk bin items, you can often bring your own container, a bag or a jar, just have the store take the weight of your container first so that you can get an accurate price for the amount of the product. I know that Sprouts, for instance, is willing to do this and does it for me when I go. And these produce bags can also be used as bulk bin items and actually include the tear weight on the bag. Cool. Also, in case you didn't know, grocery bags and produce bags can both be recycled in the bins out front of most grocery stores, but so can Amazon packages. So those blue and white envelopes that note that they can be recycled can be taken to that same location. And those are my plastic alternatives to share with you today. At the end of the day, just do your best. It is expensive to go plastic free, but remember, as with anything, all or nothing is likely not gonna last. I suggest starting to transition sustainably so you can gradually use less to find a way to keep your lifestyle going while also helping the environment. Also worth noting, this evolution of a plastic waste obsession is really, I hate to say it, a fad. Not that it isn't accurate or that we shouldn't be thinking about it and talking about it and finding alternatives, but just like fashion and diet fads come and go, even if they are environmentally focused, this will too. Do your best, but for the love of earth, stop being mean to people online about it. Focus on your business and do your best. You are not the plastic police. If you wanna try out any of these items, I have linked them below and in the free PDF that you can download. If you have other items that you like, feel free to share them in the comments because I'm sure anyone else here watching this video is interested in more. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your kindness in this community. I know it is hard to find on YouTube, but I feel really lucky to have you here. I'll see you next week. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.